that might be all right, actually. Yep, as long as you don't have any other metals on you. You might be all right. You guys ready for the next year of Direct D? Yeah. Can't wait, right? Mr. Ruff, you have three minutes. Howdy, Council. You guys know me as Christopher Ruff, but online I'm known as Direct D. Item 8A is uh, taking action on an ordinance. This is uh, by adding a new section 22 to chapter one of the Mesa City Code interfering with a police officer, prohibiting the obstruction of a police officer from their official duties or refusing to obey a lawful order issued while engaging in the discharge of their official duties. We have uh, three requests to speak. We'll hear first from Christopher Ruff. Mr. Ruff, you have three minutes. Howdy, Council. You guys know me as Christopher Ruff, but online I'm known as Direct D. I've put all of your faces on my internet channel. And I've done that because of why we're here today. You guys are trying to create an ordinance to protect police officers while you're about to spend $75,000 on an armored tank. I think that's enough protection for the police officers. You guys can't field any evidence to show that the police need any protection. There's already an ARS in Arizona that protects officers from being interrupted. It's ARS 13-2402 and it's obstructing governmental operations. It requires a physical element or a threat to incite public, you know, uh, excitement or a threat of violence. And what you guys are proposing is extremely overbroad and frankly unconstitutional. It says to you will not disobey an unlawful order. Does anybody here even know what an unlawful order is? If a police officer walks up to me and says, you need to back up, that's not a lawful order. If I'm standing out in public on a public forum on a sidewalk, I don't have to back up. You guys got to put tape up. But, you know, we see you guys misusing tape to violate the First Amendment, too. And I say you guys because you're responsible for the police out on the street. I've been wandering around the streets of Mesa for two years filming the police officers. You know who's the only person that's been assaulted? Me. You know how many times I've been arrested at the hands of the Mesa Police Department? Countless times. I can't use both of my hands. I've got cases on appeal that you guys found, the Mesa Municipal Court found me guilty on for arresting a police officer. I was arrested for all this stuff that you guys are trying to create this ordinance for. And they suspended my license for a traffic violation because I wouldn't obey an officer. Refusing to obey an officer is a Title 28 code. And that's what you guys are trying to replace here is because you know you're going to lose on appeal. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? I was convicted of filming the police on a sidewalk, and the DMV called me and told me they're going to suspend my license for that when I wasn't in a vehicle. That's the level of genius that we have going on in the municipal court system. And it's funny that Mayor Giles can't even look me in the eyes as I'm talking. Because you know I've made videos about you. You know exactly who I am. Westing back here knows exactly who I am, too. You guys love me. I made fools of so many of your cops, it's not even funny. And I'm going to continue to do it because obviously you guys don't understand. You're creating an ordinance to protect police officers from what? From cameras or from lawsuits? What are we protecting the police from? How many times have the police been hurt, assault, abused in the last two years? I've got thousands of videos on my YouTube channel. I have 135,000 subscribers because of your police officers. You're not controlling them and you ain't doing nothing to fix the problem. You're only compounding it by creating an ordinance that's no bueno. I hope you guys know what a Monell claim is. You're on notice. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next is Darren, uh, Darren Barrett. Welcome, Mr. Barrett. You have three minutes also. Hello. I'm Darian Barrett, and I'm a resident of Tempe. I shouldn't even have to be here in the first place as a resident of Tempe. But as someone like Chris, I filmed the police. I've been filming your guys' police department for five years. I've been doing this for so much longer. I don't have the, you know, the, the view power as he does. But your officers, they... They're putting up tape to feel safe. They're setting up tape 
to, to violate the First Amendment of people who are allowed to film the police. None of us have ever obstructed or interfered with your officers. I'm not, I'm up here, Giles. I'm up here. Be respectful. He needs to be respectful and look at me when I'm talking to him. You need to be respectful. Anyways, spending, you guys are looking to get two armored tanks. Just the other day, I was filming your officer, Deuce, and he set up tape to make him feel safe. My camera does nothing but kill, uh, kill careers. When you have an officer that's setting up tape and f at a simple DUI stop and we're not interfering and the officer openly admits that the tape is not for the DUI stop, but it is indeed for the cameras and for me, that's, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen and I can't wait to file it. I appreciate you for keeping eye contact with me since Giles doesn't know how to do that. But I'm done here. Giles, get it together. I'll do my best, thank you. Uh, Scott Jacobs. Mayor, council members, my name is Um, this is a lot of first things for me, first time I'm going to a council meeting, the first time that I'm speaking at a council meeting, so I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. I don't film the police, but I did spend 25 plus years as a medical professional. And I want to say that you should all be ashamed of this police department. The beatings, the police brutality from 2016 until now, it's just ridiculous. I'm too nervous to speak. I'm too upset to speak. Look at him with his head down. Yeah. When's your, when's your, when, do you, when do you get reelected? Shame on you all. That's all I have to say. All right. Better. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we've had a presentation on this, but uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask uh, the police to, did, can, can we clarify, does the proposed ordinance uh, prohibit videotaping of, of police officers. Maybe you can address that. Mayor and Council, I'll answer that way. It, it does not, in fact, it specifically has multiple places where it says that it's not prohibited. That's not what it does. And in fact, this ordinance is, this is in Tempe um, and Phoenix, Scottsdale, Chandler, Gilbert, Glendale, Goodyear, Peoria, Maricopa. We're one of the few communities that does not have this ordinance. And so we're simply doing what all our neighboring municipalities have already done uh, many years ago. Thank you very much. Council, any discussion on this item? Is there a motion for approval? I think we need to bring up the... Uh... Let me reset it for you. Okay, thank you. I made a motion. All right. Thank you. Motion's been made by Mr. Freeman. Seconded by Mr. Luna. Please vote. Thank you. That item passes unanimously. You guys ready for the next year of Direct D? Yeah. Can't wait, right? You just can't get rid of me. Two years going strong now. So you would abuse your authority if I exercise my right? Whatever. I don't personally care what you sentenced me to. I'm appealing everything today, so it's going to freeze whatever you sentenced me to, and we're just going to kick it to a higher court. Because clearly, this one is corrupt. They turn in our communities to hot blocks. Crazy. Yeah, they got glocks, handcuffs, and badges. They swear that they hot shots. Okay. They want to lock us and throw away the stop. Watch, what? you know, direct deal. Show you how to cop. Direct. Watch, cop, watch. Record them when a cop stops. Uh. And ignore the pig chatter when a cop talks. You don't need a top notch camera. Just a cop nah, watch. You gotta know your rights or you lose them. So we cop watch.